Hello, my name is Andre Bankston. I'm Nicholas Kirk. I'm Saul Rascon Salazar. And I'm Yael Balbuena Basto. And we're from Brophy College Preparatory. For many, September 5th, 2017 was a day of tremendous fear and uncertainty. As a natural born US citizen, I thought the termination of DACA had no effect on me. But the next day at school, I learned that some of my best friends were DACA recipients and would, in six months, be living in the United States illegally and could be deported at any time. DACA gave temporary legal protection to young children who came to the United States illegally. And now that protection is in limbo. In response, a group of students at our school launched the Dream On campaign. Rooted in our Catholic identity, we put on informational community events, had a platform for DACA students to share their stories, lobbied to Congress people, and even constructed a mock border wall on campus to spread awareness about the issue. The campaign, the campaign quickly became a dominant presence in campus life, creating an expansive network of support and solidarity for DREAMers. At the very beginning of this campaign, we realized very quickly that talking about politics on campus would be extremely difficult especially in Arizona, where immigration tends to be very contentious. Brophy has a substantial amount of students on both sides of the political spectrum. And if this seems like a daunting and similar reality to your own schools, and if you would like to begin political advocacy on your own campus, realize that there is a solution. An advocacy platform based in Catholic social teaching. Rooting our work in the teachings of the church we were able to gain support from both sides of politics. In fact, party tribalism became of secondary concern altogether. In the New Testament, in Paul's letter to the Philippians, he clearly states that our citizenship is in heaven, and that in Galatians, we are all one in Christ Jesus. By referencing the Bible and the teachings of Jesus and documents from USCCB and other church officials like Father Scott Santa Rosa of Jesuits West Province, we secured administrative support which was so important to our success. The institutional support from Brophy gave the Dream On campaign the necessary platform and resources to build a solidarity on campus with DACA recipients. The reason our principal and presidents allowed our passion to thrive is because we brought people together through the church. Take solace in knowing that you have the Catholic faith as a basis for political advocacy. It will open many doors and be your friend, I promise. Now, as uplifting as this may sound, it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows, especially since I am a DACA recipient. It honestly sucked having to go. <laughs> <laughs> having to go through this experience, especially if you are one of those DACA recipients who your team is advocating for. Don't get me wrong, it wasn't all horrible. I had the opportunity to speak in front of my peers and represent some of my closest friends. On top of that, we impacted the way tons of people view DACA recipients, which is unreal because some of them were die-hard conservatives. But why should we even have to do this in the first place? Why should a teenager who has lived a similar childhood to his classmates have to worry about getting deported? <laughs> it 
instead of enjoying those late nights with my best friends, singing along to Young, Dumb, and Broke, <laughs> I have to worry about not getting deported. Not only that, but can you imagine what it feels like to walk around your school being known as a DACA kid? It hurts. It cuts through your soul because all you ever wanted to do was be normal, to not have to hide from the cops, to not be viewed as a criminal and a rapist, to be able to look into your mother's eyes and tell her that everything will be okay. The Dream On campaign has brought a lot of benefits in my life, but it has also been negative in many ways. I am also a DACA recipient. And from a more academic perspective, this year specifically, the Dream On campaign has focused its energy on the more local issue that it's facing, in-state tuition for Arizonian DACA recipients. Now, as if the whole Dream Act slash DACA situation wasn't already blurry and near abandoned, Dreamers in Arizona now have this on top of their political worries. This isn't fair. It isn't fair to the country's ideals. It isn't fair to, to the people. And it isn't fair to my fellow dreamers. A group of us at Brophy and Xavier College Prep, our sister school, knew that this wasn't right, but we knew enough to do something about it. The Dream On campaign united, united its efforts with an organization called Aliento AZ. And with our loud teenage abilities, we have been very vocal about our support. Before, Arizona, before the Arizona Supreme Court ruling in April of 2018, DACA recipients received regular in-state tuition, but the fees increased by almost 200%. My dreams of going to the ASU Honors College in uh, Phoenix, Arizona have been crushed. The Dream On campaign is one of the best weapons we have to fight this. We have to beat this at a country level. Thank you.